I want to shout out Master P because, you know, the boy stay in Bel Air and shit. I seen some shit when he walking through the neighborhoods. He comes straight from where we at. You know what I mean? He, mm-hmm. come, from, he come from the Bay. Well, you know, by Richmond. way of by Richmond, New Orleans. Richmond, Richmond yeah. California right uh-huh. there. Um, he's, he's he, you know, he's from New Orleans, mm. right? But I think his mama or his daddy stayed in Richmond. Family. I, I think it was the mama. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, he had a few, uh, a few record shops and whatnot, and how he did. But the boy, you know what I'm saying, he always was solid with me. Right. And uh, he was always, he, he stayed focused, you know. So, so what? And he he, come, he he got a lot of his game from my Uncle St. Charles just as well as mm. I did. And we all learned together, you know what I'm saying, yeah. him and the JT, bigger, the bigger figures uh-huh. of the world and stuff like Shout that. We all, yeah, we all come up under the same little umbrella and whatnot. P went out there and got that South, man. He got them. He went to the sticks where it was untapped territory, man, mm. and got them boys. There was so many t- talented people out there, and got them to get on that down south hustlers, and you know what I'm talking about. He right. did that bout it, bout it, and the ice cream man, and, and he blew, and he blew, man. The man did his thing, so he can't knock a man's hustle. So I want to shout right. him out for that. You know what I'm saying? And it, you know, was the independent thing in the, in the yeah. Bay Area? He got that from the Bay. He got that from the Bay. He definitely got it from the Bay. And he, uh, he, went, I don't think he have any problem saying he did. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. But he also, he also, uh. You understand me? He was a uh, innovator in it too, as well, because he took it to bigger heights. God yeah. got levels where He blesses you, mm. so you know you just got to know when you blessed. You right. know, some people He might have you know two, three hundred million. Some people might be five hundred thousand. Some thirty thousand might be rich to a hood guy. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you just never know. So you just right. got to just keep moving, man, and don't don't hate. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't never never hate, man, because it'll come back on you. This used to be the most popular video we ever post, man, because a lot of motherfuckers need to see this clip because a lot of y'all be hating for no goddamn reason, and he just articulated this shit perfectly, man. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group82music.com. Right here, we got E40 breaking down why he never hated on Master P. This man took the words right out of my mouth. When you are doing what you're supposed to be doing, and you a king or a queen in your own domain, and you busting your ass, whether it's independent or you trying to build your own shit, when you see somebody else is doing the exact same thing in their own realm, or maybe they're in the same field you are. If you a nigga that hates, you ain't gotta be a nigga. If you somebody that hates on that shit, you a bitch. I'm sorry, you are. That's some whole ass shit. Why are you hating on somebody that's doing the same shit you doing and they going through the exact same things that you go through? There's other people that are doing the same music business shit that I go through. Like Curtis King, that's a dude who's doing the same music business shit I go through. And I told him like when I first started, I looked at him as the model. I looked at the videos he was doing. I'm like, man, I need to do that shit for rappers and do it my own way, put my own twist on it. I took his content. I took his whole thing, but I made it mine. And I big up him for that. Thank you, Curtis King, for that. Because I understand what he had to do to do that shit. And when I told him that, he came on the podcast. And we had a fucking dope episode. Y'all need to go listen to that shit. And you can tell me and him on the same page. Same with Kato Producer. I studied his shit, too. I looked at his shit. I was like, damn. I like your shit. I'm going to take some of your shit. He came on the podcast. Dope ass episode, man. Them niggas wasn't no haters. They came on and gave knowledge. Call me Ace. He did the exact same thing. He came on and gave knowledge. Melissa B. Live. She came on. She gave knowledge. Michael DeBarge. He came on here. They gave knowledge, man. That's what it's about when you real. Too many of y'all out here are fucking haters. And y'all scared. And y'all some fucking pussies. Because you mad because you think that it's only a finite amount of of resources and we all can't eat. Nigga, we all can eat. This ain't 1990, man. We ain't getting all of our money from a record label. We ain't getting all of our money from one corporation and they only have a finite amount of money to give to 10 of us. It's the internet. We all can eat, man. That's why I tell y'all to take my content. Take my content, repost that shit. I see Hot Freestyle. Hot Freestyle waits for me to post videos and then they go and post the exact same video. The same day. The Jay-Z, 50 Cent, Jay-Z warned the entire Rockefeller label that 50 Cent was coming. I post that video, they post it two hours later. Like, damn it, the same capture everything. I don't give a fuck, I don't care. I take that shit too. I want them to win. Nigga, I'm gonna win too. That's how you gotta think when you a king or you a queen. All this hating shit, I don't get it. E-40 understood that shit. He understood what Master P was on. We can get a lot further together then we can if we competing all the time. This whole rap is a competition. That shit's bullshit. It was a competition in the early 90s when it was two, three, four record labels that was only supporting rap 
you only had one TV show where you could get your music video shown. There was probably only like 25 radio stations across the world that was playing rap, and you had hundreds of niggas that wanted to rap. And there was no way to get directly to your fans. That's when it was a competition because everybody had a tap dance for the master who was the record label. We ain't gotta do that no more. That's why this independent game is that shit. That's why I give y'all all this free info because I want y'all to win. We all can win. I ain't with that hating shit. And anybody's a fucking hater and you don't agree with anything I'm saying, unfollow me, get the fuck off my shit right now because your bitch ass is never gonna win. I'm only with people that really, really wanna help and really, really wanna win because we all can eat, man. It's the only way we can continue to push hip hop forward. That's why I'm doing the album True Support. That's why I'm having a campaign, I'm doing it. Because I've been giving y'all value for two years with these videos. I'm only asking y'all now for $9.99 to go buy my album. We number four on the pre-order charts right now in the world. True Support, hip hop, go look it up on iTunes. We're number four in the world because of y'all. All I'm asking y'all for is $9.99. And you still get some out of that because I give you $249 worth of value when you buy the album with the permanent Spotify players placement. Because I'm not no hater. I understand. There's no robbery and fair exchange. Stop surrounding yourself with people who are always talking shit about other people. That's why I don't follow the shade room. That's why I don't follow none of that gossip TMZ bullshit. All they do is talk about other motherfuckers. Who cares about that shit? Nigga, if it ain't about no money, I don't want to hear about it. We all can eat. We all can win. Click that link in the bio. Buy the album and get your $250 to go towards the Spotify playlist. I'm out the pond. Y'all stay true. Group82music.com.